bars up. This is place the movie fan and before I get into the main subject of the video I'm gonna tell you my opinion on Steve Jobs. Yeah there is so little I gotta say about the main subject of the video that it wouldn't even be a fucking minute long video. So I am gonna talk about my opinion on Steve Jobs overall before I get into the main subject of the video. Now then Steve Shives is one of the worst YouTubers in my opinion. He is currently one of the most hated individuals in the skeptic community and I gotta tell you that the hate that he is getting is totally warranted. Now the main reason why I hate Steve Shives is because he is pro censorship. I made a commentary earlier this year on a video where he said that some people don't deserve to be on YouTube. A link to my commentary on him is in the video description below. That video Steve Shives made is complete garbage and to be honest I wish I would have been harsher on him. I should have called him a counter on airsoft in that commentary on him because his points were so fucking bad. Now of course I rarely use the word cunt or an airsoft to describe someone but I should have used those words in that video because he really fucking deserves it. But anyway the next thing that I'm not going to talk about is the fact that he blocks a lot of people. He has blocked trillions of fucking people including those that he has never interacted with. And I personally don't have a problem with that. Wanna know why? Because I really couldn't fucking care less if I was blocked by someone and I really couldn't fucking care less if people blocked a lot of users. If someone blocks a lot of people at worst they're just pussies. You see that's the good thing about YouTube, even if you are blocked by someone you can still respond to their videos. All it means on YouTube is that you can no longer comment on someone's videos and that's about it. If Steve Shives just blocked a lot of people I wouldn't have a problem with him. I would think that he is a pussy which he pretty much is but I wouldn't hate him for it. But yeah, the fact that he is pro censorship is the main reason that I hate him. I absolutely hate people who are pro censorship. To me, they are the second scummiest group of people in the world behind only homophobes. The reason why I absolutely fucking hate pro censorship people is because I fucking hate censorship of any kind. Anyone is welcome to be offended by something, but the thing is, offense is entirely subjective. Just because you are offended by something doesn't give you the right to try to get it banned. So yeah, Steve Shives is one of my most hated users on YouTube and all the hate that he is getting is totally warranted. Now then, now that I have rambled enough about why I hate Steve Shives, it's time to get to the main subject of the video. Now I have seen some videos from people telling me that Steve Shives used to be a better user, that he used to be logical. But well, considering that he is one of the most illogical morons on YouTube, it's extremely hard to believe that he used to be a good YouTuber. It's extremely hard to believe that he used to be logical. So I ask, did he really used to be a good YouTuber? Is that really true? Did he used to be a good YouTuber in the past? The reason why I'm asking is because I honestly don't fucking know how he used to be. And if he used to be logical in the past, that is very fucking awesome. And if it is true that he used to be good, I'm not sure if that's true or not. That is very fucking sad. There are some people who get worse with time. Now of course most human beings get better with time. But there are a few human beings that get worse with time. And if Steve Shabs is one of those people who gets worse with time, that is very fucking sad. Well guys, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.